Well, that's that's right. I mean, we have been dealing with that extreme cold, but there are some dangers if you're not using them properly. And this is uh, something that we were talking about just a little bit last week with Andy Amrine of EV Tree, True Value Hardware. And we asked you to come back because yep. we were only able to talk about it just briefly. And yep. I thought this is so important. We need to have you come back and, and go a little bit more in depth. Mm -hmm. We saw a lot of fires this week and last yep. week. Some of them were caused by space heaters. And I think that there's a lot that people don't know about uh, when using them and, and how to use them safely. You know, I bet you if you walk up and down the street you live on and you ask all the residents, I would say 98, 99% of them have a space heater in the house. Somewhere, I mean, yeah. Somewhere, somehow, some type. I mean, because they've been out for a lot of years and uh, your older heaters aren't nearly as safe as your newer heaters mm -hmm. but still even some of your newer heaters there's different qualities involved and there's different safety features they have on it and there's really four basic type of heaters that are on the market and just a little bit on heaters and safety over over here this larger uh, square cube heater this is what they call a infrared quartz heater this actually has tubes that are running in it, and that's an infrared heat produced, and then it has copper baffles. So it's an actual, it's, it's the most expensive heater that you can get on the market. These heaters are about $80, okay. but they're super, super safe. They don't get too hot. They have all the tip over safety. They actually even have a remote control with them. But, uh, you know, so it uses less than a dollar a day in electricity to operate. So it's still a 1500 watts. And that's probably the biggest safety thing people need to realize is every one of these heaters are the same wattage. It's a 1500 watt. That's a lot of juice that runs through the power cords okay. on the heaters. Your next as far as efficiency are what these ones that look like old thin radiators. Yes. And these are actually oil filled. It's not an oil that there's a dip tube that you have to check. These are self sealed, self contained, but as you start heating up the heater, it heats the oil that flows through the fins on the heater. And the oil that is hot actually is radiating the heat. These smaller ones here, these are what they call quartz heaters. These have a, or ceramic heaters, excuse me. These have ceramic discs in them. And the best way for me to describe a ceramic disc is think of the space shuttle as it's flying through space. The nose on it is a ceramic disc. So it absorbs the heat and deflects the heat. That's how these operate. Your last one is your old fashioned milk house radiant heater. Mm -hmm. You go plug this one in and you leave it on for 24 hours, you're talking five, six dollars a day in electricity that it's going to use. Wow. It's absolutely huge. These have safety features, tip over safety switches and so forth. Your original heaters like this, um, uh, these radiant heaters, they didn't. If they tipped over, they, they would catch it. fire or on any of these heaters they do get hot to a point that if you have draperies or things that are in contact with them they do catch fire but the biggest biggest safety feature with is... any of these heaters is you can never ever ever use any kind of extension cords with heaters never and tell us, tell under us any why. reason why okay you have a heater and you take a heater and you plug it into a big heavy orange or black heater what these heaters have is you have resistance of the electricity that runs through there these me telling you that they're 1500 watt that's a lot of electricity that's as say, much like... electricity as most of the outlets can actually take in the house itself. And oh, it, okay. See, know, so, I was going to say, because I don't really know what that right. means. When you say 1500 watts, I don't really the understand. The wire in your house and the capability of your circuit breaker in there, that's about as large as it can accept. And the dilemma is people have other things that are on that line. So you have this plugged in, and is that on the same line as your kitchen? So right. you have your toaster oven, or is that in your living room that you have all your lamps on? Or is that in your bathroom that you have your hair dryer on? That's way, 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 way too much electricity running through the line on the house. So the outlet could catch fire itself, but in particular, when you have a plug going in here, you have resistance of electricity these are drawing so much electricity and the cord is coming in here but when this fluctuates on and off and on and off and on and off these cords will get super hot because they cannot take the resistance building up from the heater cord to the extension cord so whether it's your small lightweight ones or people say well I'll just get a bigger extension cord it doesn't matter yeah. it doesn't matter you cannot plug 
heaters of any type, the old type ones, the new type ones, you should never use extension cords. Plug them directly into the house outlet and never leave them unintended. So, number one rule, never use an extension cord. Never, ever, Don't ever. put it near any drapery or furniture or clothing. Mm -hmm. And, and keep an eye keep on, an them. Eye on keep them. Keep the kids away from keep the pets away from them. Don't let them get tipped over, so forth. They will cause fire, as you've reported on the news. We have very Those recently. fires are from heaters, space okay. heaters. So be careful. Thank you, Andy. Very yeah. important stuff here. Andy Amrine of EV True Value Hardware in Bethel Park, a regular PTL contributor with some very important information.